Winner of Best Male Performance in a Comedy, it's Jamie Demetrio. Jamie, I'm so happy for you. Thanks for being happy for me. You are welcome. Uh, I, what? <laughs> this is your second BAFTA, though. This is your second BAFTA because you won another one the other day. Is that right? Uh, right yes. I mean, I had to you, yeah. you seem very blasé about these BAFTAs you're accumulating here, Jamie. Uh, well, well I, I don't know. It's, it feels um, uh, uh, impolite to be energetic uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're being... I'm very, I feel very lucky and I feel um, particularly lucky to have been in a group of such good pals and good people and good comic performers. That's been the highlight of the whole thing for me. Oh, them. That's a lovely thing to say. But uh, I mean, I've, I've known you for a long time through comedy and I know you've worked hard for years and years and years. I remember you doing a show in Edinburgh when your laptop got stolen and all of the sound cues got, oh, sorry, he's still angry about that. So, uh, you know, I know that you've kept going, you've kept pushing through and it's paid off. That must feel amazing. It's, it's so lovely to have it recognized. Scary, for sure, because I definitely don't feel like I'm 32 and I am. I imagine I'm around 26. So this all feels like it's all happening too fast, if I'm honest. But I'm so, I feel so lucky and I guess I just got to catch up with it. Well, yeah, and you should be so proud of, of the show. I mean, it's, it's a show that my whole family love. Like we tape it and then we all sit down and watch it together. Uh, so if we're out and like, we'll watch it of a, you know, of a morning when we're all in or something. Like it's so, it's such a funny, funny program that's got such a heart to it, such a family core to it. How, how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, for a start, thank you very much. That's so lovely to come from a funny, funny man like yourself, who I've also been watching in Edinburgh and finding funny for a long time. Um, uh, but uh, how do I do it? Uh, just get scared for a year, close your eyes, and uh, get a load of characters to call each other cheeky for 180 pages. <laughs> um, oh, so, when he's you know, like that, yeah. I'm going to be the guy who says this, but, it, you know, it is so down to the team and that includes past crew will hanky our dp i mean our my, tom kingsley and seth barwell are like you know we're very much a threesome when it comes to the creation of it my producer and my director my sister is obviously like the lifeblood of the show uh, al Neil, katie all these people ellie christos dustin like that you know getting that caliber of a character comedian is sort of really doing me a favor uh, as far as the show's concerned, so I feel very lucky well, in that sense. But it's an amazing performance, because you do hold it together, and, you know, like, Stath is foolish at times, but always lovable. It's not, you know, it's not a light performance. It's a very nuanced, it's a very nuanced, subtle show, which I think is what makes it so brilliant. Oh, I think, yeah, well, that's very nice for you to say. I worry, I think some people might disagree with that, but I kind of think that the nuances and stuff are kind of maybe true to me, as in, like, I, I know people like that. Uh, and that and that that's a helping hand. I mean, you know, doing live stuff for a long time was a big part of uh, the process of developing the character and working out what sort of comic tips work, as it was, I imagine, with pretty much every member of the cast. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think those sort of uh, tricks and things really help. But I think much like all, all the nominees in this category, I think that um, yeah, every story kind of feels like it's it, it's got an element the truth from the character which is uh, from the person playing the character uh, which is i think a really uh, truth in, in various senses but i think that's a really uh, useful thing to have on your side and it's very nice to be allowed to put that on telly because yeah. most stories that i have about my dad and about my family are kind of stranger than fiction <laughs> but there like, is... yeah. sorry. no go on what were you gonna say well no i was just gonna say like not a lot of people um I don't know. When I pitch ideas from things that had actually happened in my life, um, the, the, the general pro thought process uh, was like, yeah, let's go for stuff that would um, happen on Earth. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, I know your sister, Tash, uh, who is, plays your sister in the show, and it's also so funny, and, and I know you have such a great rapport with each other, and that's something you see, but what do your family who aren't in the show think about it? Do they find... Do they, do they like themselves being portrayed or sort of inspiring um, characters? I'll say for safety, I don't think there's anyone being directly portrayed. Of course. Um, but um, I don't know. My mum and dad are into it, I think. 
I think, they, yeah, they like it. They definitely like it. My dad will sort of pitch me, say his favourite scene from it, and it will be a scene that he's concocted. <laughs> Remember after series one, him being like, oh, I'll never get over you filling the toilet with loads of toilets. Different <laughs> toilets. Brilliant idea. I was like, I mean, you're right. It is a brilliant idea, but it wasn't <laughs> Not on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I know you've said to me before about how your family have inspired the show, and I think, um, I think that's part of what makes it so lovable and, and, and makes your performance so loving. It's a very respectful, if playful, <laughs> rendition of people that I know you care about a lot. And um, I think the, the fans of the show will want to know, uh, when will there be a third series? Um, look, there's this cold going around and it's <laughs> big productions. Well, a very, you know, I, I think that uh, it's hard to say at this sort of quite hard time. Uh, best, I mean, I just won a comedy award and I'm doing this. It's a hard time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so yeah, we know what um, you mean. I think, I think we don't really know, but hopefully, hopefully one day, hopefully. There's, there's more stuff, there's more stupid stuff for all the characters to do, so, uh, hopefully. And I'd love, and you know, more than anything, I'd just love to spend time with all those people again uh, in one room wearing horrible suits and shoes. They are truly horrible, um, <laughs> but very funny. Oh, so. of course. You must, you must. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And that concludes our interview with Jamie Dimitrio. No, that uh, concludes our interview. Thank you. No, no, no. Uh, no. Thank you very much for joining me, Jamie. Um, lovely to chat to you. I'm so happy and so proud. Are you allowed to be proud of people when you haven't done anything towards their success? You've but, done, you have no idea what you've done, Tom. No, I've done it. Now, I've ruined it and it was all going so well. What a shame. What a shame. Ruined your special day. But um, look, it's your second BAFTA. It's no big deal. So, uh, but still, congratulations. Very happy for you. And it's a wonderful show and I hope we get to see some more of it very soon. And for, for now, enjoy celebrating uh, and uh, spending some time with your wonderful family. Uh, raise a glass, raise a glass to your success. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate you being lovely. Well, you're, you're pretty good, great yourself. Now get out of here, get out of here. Okay, bye, 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 bye. bye, bye.